excited to get going in the BBL? Yeah, definitely excited. You know, as I said, uh, time and time again, you know, it's something I've been really relishing to come over and, and do. Uh, yeah, being given the opportunity here at the Sixers. Um, a successful theme, team at that, you know, just, I guess, big boots to fill in the sense where, you know, you've got a tradition and, and legacy to uphold in terms of their, their success rate in this competition. So, yeah, looking forward to that as well, too, and just mingling and, and playing some really solid cricket. What sort of role do you, do you feel like you, you will play or have you been told you're going to play? Yeah, not quite sure yet, you know. Um, I had a good chat with Andre Adams yesterday and you know, he was just saying more often than not they're very, very flexible with their plans and in terms of bowling strategies as well too. So look, I'm just willing and able to do any and everything um, possible just to, to make sure that my time here is successful, um, not only for me personally but for the team. So whatever is required of me, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do. And do you think it's a tactical sort of situation these days in T20 cricket especially and now with the, the power surge that the um, the role of the bowler and where you slot into that sort of last 10 overs is, is really interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, um, six overs of power play is always tough, you know, but having four up front and then, you know, an unknown two per se, you know, after the 11th overs, it could be difficult, you know. I've seen it work for and against certain teams so far, but I guess over a period of time you'll, you'll know when and where and, you know, the do's and don'ts of in terms of the power surge, but yeah, it's, it's, another, it's another spectacle, something to, to really open up my mind to, and you know, again, another opportunity to, to kind of conquer something and, and know that you've achieved something really, really special. Um, what do you know about the strikers? Um, well, I know a few players over there, you know, I've obviously played against Rash, Rash. Um, Phil Salt played with us, you know, in CPL too, and has had really good success in England, um, Alex Keir is, is in and around there as well too, so yeah. A few players that you know would, would definitely pop up and around, but you know I've seen the competition over the years too, and you know they've got a, a really solid team and they've had some success as well in this competition. So we expect a really good contest. Yep. How do you how do you um, handle Rashid? <laughs> um, interestingly enough, um, while I was at practice yesterday, Jordan came to me and he, he asked me how, well, just asked me a little bit about Rash and. He's a champion, to be honest. You know, he's, he's a very good bowler. He's got a really good record all around the world too. But uh, I'm not sure I want to tell the secrets here now. But more often than not, you know, a lot of people just tend to not smash him or try to smash him. And you know, maybe we should probably take the other approach and be positive against him. Okay, um, Carlos has um, been here a couple of times now. He's produced a few dances along the way. <laughs> one the other day. Have you got one? Um, not sure I'm a big dancer, I'll probably leave the dancer for Carlos, but you know, I may have one or two things in store. Um, I guess over a period of time you'll see.